Okay guys, and welcome to another episode of Hyper Joust. This is, this is a weekly series I do on my channel. I normally do it every Friday, but as of this week I'm doing it on Saturday because the Al Quang skin came out yesterday, so I did a video of that yesterday, and I'm doing the Hyper Joust on Saturday. But normally every week the Hyper Joust series is on a Friday, so it'll be on Friday next week. And basically, basically what the series is, is for people who are new to what Hyper Joust is, basically it is a 1v1 custom game that you can make, and you have maximum goals, maximum level, and you are assigned a random guard. So, for this video, I have been given... Hang on, let me, just, let me just finish this fight and I'll keep continue explaining what it is. Boop. Okay, so how this works on my videos is I do normally do three games. I do best of three kills, as you can see I've got one kill now. So, if I get the next kill, this game's over, that's the end of game one. Or if he gets the next kill, it goes to a tiebreak, whoever gets that kill, ends the game. And anyway, after... The, after three kills, well, after the best of three kills have been decided, I will surrender and I'll move on to the next game. So I'm not really too bothered about taking down towers, I'm not really too bothered about taking down the Phoenix. Just because I play it to best of three kills and then we end the game and move on to the next one, just so it's a bit more fast paced and, in my opinion, more enjoyable to watch. So as you can see, first blood went to me. If I get one more kill, that is the end of game one and we will move on to game number two. Let's quickly pick up this buff. Where is he? There he is, okay, that's all. Let's go kill him. Woo. Come on, kill yourself. Do it. Do it. Hit me. Do it. <laughs> and silence. And there we go. He's dead. Okay. Why can't I surrender? There we go. That's the end of game number one. And I will see you in game number two. Also, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And leave a comment if you want to see this more frequently. I, I do this series every week. But if you want to see it every couple of days, every two or three days, then just leave a comment and let me know you want to see more of it, and I will do more of it for you. Okay guys, welcome back to game number two. In this match, I've been given Jivalonke against an Artemis. So let's see how this goes, and let's get into it. Quickly clear this buff camp. There we go. Let's go find Artemis and kill her. Well, that's the plan anyway. Switch these actives around. Okay. Where's Artemis at? There she is. I think she's going to die. Right, let's just finish up the job here. There we go. She's dead. Awesome. Let's quickly just... Yeah, like I said in the last video, um, because I'm, I end the game after the best of three kills, I'm not really too bothered about getting the tower. The only reason I'm hitting the minions is just so I can lifesteal before the next fight, because I don't really want to go home. So I'm going to go into the jungle. I'm going to clear some buffs just so I can lifesteal a bit. And if I win the next fight, you know the score, that's the end of the game, and I'll move on to game 3. And if Armas wins the next fight, it goes to a tiebreak. Quickly take this buff just to refresh my purple buff. And heal me back up to full. Wait for the Armas. I didn't actually use any of my actives in that fight, so... It's always a good thing. Meaning I can use them in this fight. Hey, Armas! Quickly kill these minions, run away. There we go, let's keep hitting these auto attacks. And there she blows. Okay, well I guess that's game number two down. And I'll be moving on to the third and final game for this video. And yeah, I'll see you there. Okay guys, welcome back to the third and final game. So in this match, I've been given Sobek against a Hades. So let's see how this goes. I'm expecting just a really long drawn out battle that's going to take forever for someone to die. Or possibly he's just going to run away, or I'm just going to be able to run away and no one's really going to die. So, we'll see how it goes. Either way, I'm expecting a slow fight rather than a quick burst fight. Depends how tanky or how damaged he is built. I guess. Okay, so, so far it's not going well for me. Of course, he dug out of the ultimate. Yeah, just because he can heal means I'm probably not going to win this fight. I mean, I have my own heal, but it's not really going to do much. Okay, I'm not going to run away from the fight. I will stay till the end, just so the game is faster. Really? Oh, well, he surrendered. Okay, so normally what happens if someone surrenders, making a game shorter, I'll just do a bonus game, make it game number four. So yeah, this normally would be the last game if I could do a best of three, but because we had an early surrender, I will move on and I'll see you in game number four, which will be the final part, even if it is an early surrender. You oppose me. 
Welcome back to the fourth and final game. In this video, I have, well, in this part, I've been given Saket versus a Hades. So let's see how this goes. What should we buy? Attack speed, we want some that and that. We need some life steal too. Life steal, let's buy that. Penetration, where have you gone? Brawler's beat stick just to stop him healing any further. Let's buy that. And should we get beard? Yeah, I'm looking at beard just so we can't silence me. I don't think I'll need weakening curse with this much anti heal. 40 plus 20 is 60. Should I get weakening curse? Yeah, no, why not? I'll get weakening curse. And let's go. And again, I don't have my ultimate for anti-heal, so we can curse probably wasn't necessary. But we've got it now. No harm done. Let's go get this purple buff. So for people who don't know who Saket is, she's the, the Egyptian god of poisons. Basically, she is a scorpion-based god. This this um, model she has now is a skin that you can purchase in games. This isn't her normal model. But basically, she's a scorpion god. And yeah, she's an assassin. There goes his bubble. Let's heal up off this wave. Let's get out of that. Did he just fist to the guards me? I think he did. What was that for? I know I shouldn't have weakening curse there because he already he already couldn't heal because of my ultimate. But I stood it for the slow. There we go, that's first blood. First blood to me, it's gonna clear this wave, I'm gonna go back, so I'm full health for the second fight. And then that'll be the hopefully deciding kill. If I can kill him once more, then that's the end of the video and I win the fourth and final game. Buy more potions because why not? I don't really need to buy more potions, but there's no harm done in buying them while I'm back here. So home. Where should I go now? Hades is spawning in four seconds. My ult's up soonish. What's he built? He's built no physical protection. That would explain why I did so much damage to him. Okay. So let's quickly clear out this wave. Never mind, Hades is here. So this should be the final fight. I'm expecting to win this last one, but we shall see. You never know. He might have changed his build. I can't remember if he changed his build, it looks fairly similar. Oh well. There we go. Use my shield of the underworld while I'm in his ult. There we go, he's dead. And that is the game. So pretty much what I did in that last fight, why I killed him so quickly, is shield of the underworld is an active that whenever you take damage, you deal a percentage of that of that damage back. That's just explaining it briefly. It does do other stuff, um, but that's the main gist of it. So when he ulted me, it was doing damage over time, so I just stood in his ultimate, used the shield of the underworld, which meant which made his ult do damage to me and back to him. He didn't realise that, he just kept ulting and slowly killed himself. But yeah, let's thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it and you were new around here, please do subscribe. And like I said earlier in the video, if you do enjoy these kind of videos and you want to see more of them instead of every week, you want to see them more frequently, then just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do so. And yeah, I will see you all next time.